there goes the last B7 ever built for Perth departing. Welcome back guys to our video. We are at a random bus stop in Fremantle. Um, I'm actually here because I'm going to start a, a new series for my channel. Which is going to be Strangest Bus Stops in Perth. Yeah, so the, I know I filmed all the train stations and all the bus stations and stuff. So now I thought I might as well just film some other random bus stops and take a look to see some of the weirdest ones that exist. So we're gonna start over here, episode one. It's just gonna be random, there's no particular order. Whatever I come up with. But I thought this would be a nice place, I just randomly decided while I was on that bus. Here we are. Um, this is literally right next to the Fremantle traffic bridge, which is going to be replaced actually very soon, it's being demolished. And new one's gonna be built. And the Fremantle train line, of course, the tracks are painted white here, the ports over there. It is sunset, so my camera's probably not the best. Although, I did put it into 60 FPS, which I've actually never done before. It uses a lot more battery, but tell me how it goes with this video, because it might look better. I don't know. Anyway, we're here at bus stop number 20943 and bus stop 10287, which are just basically the same bus stop, but two stands here separating the routes. The reason I'm here though, already it's weird to have two bus stops in one embayment, but especially big poles. But the reason I'm here is because of this. Route 500 does come to this bus stop, which is an extension trip operating from Fremantle Station, when even though 500 is usually only between Bull Creek and Burragoon, so it's like four times longer as the extension trip. That's a real bus oddity. Um, and you can see on here, uh, here it is, 7.23 a.m. There's, I think it's only one service, so that's the service. And D operates on school days only, 7.23. But what the hell is this? The next stand also lists the 500. And this is not even a different route or anything. Like, it's the exact same trip. And it's also listed on here, 7.23 a.m. And here it's listed as E, which is also operates on school days only on this stand. But what? How can you put this on the same route on both stands? This is meant to separate the routes, which all the other routes are separated. But what? 500 on both stands. Do you know that this is like 15 meters? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. It's like 14 meters. I'll put the exact distance on the screen when I measure on the map, but what? I made a video recently, well not recently, a while ago, um, transport closest bus stops, which is still valid on the 148 and 158 route, which is pretty close to here. Um, the two closest consecutive bus stops are there. They're like 70 meters apart on the same route. But really, if you want to get technical, then this is actually the closest bus stops, consecutive bus stops on the same route, even though it is really the same bus stop, the name of the stop is the same, because it's in the same place, but it's two separate stands and it apparently it serves them both. Just like at Elizabeth Key, you have the 995 serving, and the 950 serving two stands in the row where they stop. And I do count that as well, but that's actually quite a bit across the bus stations, it's actually further than 70 meters, so those ones on the street are still the closest that I filmed last time. But yeah, I didn't even realize this until someone pointed it out. Uh, Madrid Metro, or I forgot the YouTube, Tiger Task 3, I'll link it in the description. A while ago, he pointed this out, so now I just had to go look at it for myself. This is ridiculous. That is crazy. So yeah, here it is, 500 here, 500 there. This one is actually, the numbers are a bit smaller, probably just because I had to fit more on here. But yeah, I just wanted to show you how crazy that is, some things are just ridiculous on transport. I don't know what the thinking is behind this. Like, even if you go on the app and you zoom into this bus stop, it actually shows that they both stop here. So, stop at both stands. Anyway, that's like already five minutes now. This is just a quick test for the start of this series. It'll probably go really slowly. I'm not gonna specifically go out to bus stops to film them. Just if I'm around and I notice something weird, I'll film it and I already actually know quite a few really weird ones I can film and I'll try to keep the videos under 10 minutes because it's literally just the bus stop under five even but maybe for this first one it's like seven minutes because we're also just gonna watch a train come through right now it's just gonna come up from North Fremantle 
especially in this lighting it's it's really nice let's wait for one and also got some buses on the other side there peak hour only 111 of course basically the 910 just goes straight from Elizabeth Key to Canning Bridge not Elizabeth Key well yes Elizabeth Key but it goes from East Perth and there's a 910 gas bus right behind it as well so yeah, I think someone should... I, I'm not going on this service, 723 school days only, because that's really stupid. Like, obviously I have to go to school, and even on a people free day, that's so early, just for this bus. So I'm not, no, I'm not going on it, because the whole is the same as 148, 158. Just numbered as 500. But if anyone does use that service, which I doubt, doubt so, but someone should really check if the driver would actually do that. Like, especially the, the best way to do it would be that someone's on the bus presses the bell so then he stops here because that's the first stand but then someone also waits there at that stand and hails him and <laughs> see if he stops at both or if that's just completely fake but that, yeah it's so weird um, the train's still not here oopsie okay it's coming in the other direction first that looks really good if my camera was better really nice shot of the train alongside the cars. You rarely really walk al along the Fremantle line here, especially past the port, even though it's a really nice place. It's really unique. We don't appreciate it enough. Set 10. And 18. Crossing and the other direction is coming as well, which that, that literally looks like it's like perpendicular Right now if you look at it in the back there, but then it just manages to curve quickly and come over here That's 26 and 24 right there. Okay, that's eight minutes now. I've said everything I can. Thanks for watching this video. I hope this will be a cool new series as well to add to the channel, even though I already have so many other videos to post. So it's just a little side thing when I notice stuff. And as I said, I've already got several that I know that I should go film eventually. Uh, yeah. See you in the next one. Bye.